In this video, I'm going to talk about SI unit and SI prefix. SI unit is an international unit for the quantity and it's made up based on the seven major quantity that you can see it in this table. The SI unit for length is meter and the symbol for meter is lowercase m. The second quantity for SI unit is mass. The unit for mass in SI system is kilogram. And the symbol is lowercase k. The third one is time and the SI unit for time is second. And lowercase s is the symbol for time. SI unit for temperature is Kelvin. And the symbol for Kelvin is K, uppercase. The amount of substance that is very important in chemistry has mole unit. And the symbol is almost same, but it doesn't have E at the end of that. The last two quantity for SI is mostly belong to the physics, but I'm going to explain also these two here. Electric current, the unit is ampere and the symbol is A. And luminous intensity, the unit is candela and the symbol is CD. All other units in physics, chemistry and other science major is built on based on these seven units. For example, if we want to calculate area for an S square or for a rectangle, we are going to multiply x times y or x times x. So we should uh, multiply these two lengths here. So if we want to calculate the SI units for the area, we should have length time length. The unit for length is meter. So meter times meter is equals to meter square. So the SI unit for area is meter square. For volume, we have length time length time length. So the SI unit for volume is m times m times m. So it's meter cube. So let's have more example for the other quantity like speed or velocity. We know the definition for speed or velocity is distance over time. The unit for distance is meter. And the unit for time is second. So SI unit for speed or velocity is meter per second. For acceleration, you know the definition of acceleration is change of speed per time. We already know the unit for change of speed, it should be the same with the unit of speed. So it's meter per second. Then the unit for time again is second. So this one is equals to meter per second. A square. From the second law of Newton, we know force is equals to mass time acceleration. So SI unit for mass is kilogram and for acceleration is meter per second square. So SI unit for force is equals to km per second square. When we have a unit on denominator, we can convert it to the negative power and bring it to the denominator. So instead of writing km over s square, we can write it in this form also. So this negative power, it means this is belong to denominator. Just for make it easier, we can write it in this form also. So the unit for all other quantity uh, can be derived from these seven major units. In chemistry and also in physics, sometimes we have a very big or very small numbers. And uh, we need to convert these numbers to the scientific notation. If you don't know how we can convert the numbers to the scientific notation, you can watch my video about the scientific notation. The link is on the description of this video. So let's say we have this number after converting to the scientific notation. Or we have some number like this. To make it easier, instead of using this power of 10, 
we are able to use some prefix in the international system or SI. I'm going to list some of these prefix in this table. The power for giga is positive 9 and the symbol is G. Another prefix is mega. The power for mega is positive 6 and the symbol is M. Kilo positive 3 K. Centi negative 2 lowercase c. Milli negative 3 m. As you can see here for mega and milli both of them is m so it's very important to know is it uppercase or lowercase. Micro negative 6 and symbol for micro is a Greek letter we call it mu. Nano negative 9 lowercase n and pico negative 12 and p so let's have some example for application of this prefix the negative 3 power is belong to the milli so instead of 10 to negative 3 i just simply put its symbol so i can write one point two milligram for next example we have ten to negative nine and we can see here ten to negative nine it means nano so I can just write five point two twenty two instead of ten to negative nine I'm going to put its symbol n and then the unit for this so then five point two twenty two nano meter here is another example, 8.9 times 10 to positive 9 hertz. Then 10 to positive 9, it means giga. So I can just write the symbol for giga here. Then it's going to be 8.9 giga hertz. Thank you for watching this video. For watching more video, please subscribe our YouTube channel.